and up in this cave is piece of heart number 25 so just one more to add to your collection um i believe there are 44 in the game so we still got a long ways to go so from there um you can just go back to the vine head up and then you want to head across the bridge again and then turn big so after that you can play your ocarina of wind and this time you want to head to caster wilds so um... we're going to be gathering a couple more heart pieces here um... if you haven't guessed And I accidentally hit the talk to Aslo button. But uh if you were if you would have pushed these hole uh, these rocks in the holes here, um you should be able to get up to the area that we need to go to. Um so you just wanna head up and then climb the vines there. And you wanna head to the top left of the area. is right here there I have to go up one first then it's right up there and then um, you want to dash across um, the little swamp area like last time don't uh, don't worry if you don't make it all the way in one because you're not going to then you want to turn small and uh, get on that little lily pad there. And if you fall in the hole, um, you can do so. Uh, it's nothing important. But from there, you just want to head down. And then into the little, um, you'll see a little log opening that you can get to. So head that way. And then um, keep heading right. Um, until there's a little uh, area where you can swim and then once you swim in there head up into the little hole you get so um, there's a bunch of little ways to go um, you wanna head to the one that's to the the third one from the left or fourth one from the left, I'm sorry. And then you'll come to a room with a bunch of enemies. Uh, I find it easiest just to use the boomerang here. You're in a pretty tight cl tight space with these uh, little scissor enemies, so watch out for that. And um, once those are dead, you'll have to try to figure out which blocks to push. And they are the ones um, closest to the left. I get a little confused here. But uh, then you just go through, kill all these other little beetle things that are very annoying. And then the ones in the middle you'll be able to push up. So. Just do so and grab piece of heart number 26. So, I need 28 for another heart container. And I believe we will be getting this, um, the, the 28th one this chapter. So, um, anyways, you can head up and grab the treasure chest as well for a red kinstone piece. Um, pretty soon, you're probably going to have way too many kinstone pieces, but that's okay. Because um, we are nearing the end of the game. So, just uh, after that's done, you want to just backtrack and head all the way back up to that tree stump. I know it's a long way, long journey. So, do that. And once you're back up in there, um, you see I fell in the hole just to 
snag the little kid's stone piece there. Um, I suggest you do it too, just because even though you might get an abundance of them, um, since there's three different kinds for each color, it's nice to get a bunch of them because you still need them. So dash back across, and this way, and um, this time we want to go to the top right of the area. So you want to go back on the vine there and then use the little bridge on the right and then go down um, take care of this little uh, eye statue and once you've done that um, you can um, make your way to the top right and you'll see there's an area to swim there so do so and head into the room there now this is kind of a tricky little puzzle because all the blocks push toward the heart piece but if you go on the right side and you push them like I do in the walkthrough um, you'll be able to get it and that is heart piece number seven or twenty seven sorry um, so one more for another heart container after that, um, pull out your Ocarina of Winds and play it for the little bird to pick you up. And now you want to head to Mount Crenel. So another Kinstone Fusion here. Um, go inside Malari's Mines. And um, you want to fuse Kinstones with Malari here, except he's not where he was before. And I couldn't remember what room he was in, so... I checked all the rooms. Of course, I checked the room he was the farthest room from where he is first. He's actually in the room right above the stairs there. But uh, I checked the farthest room first. He wasn't in that one. Then the next one. So it ended up being the last room that I checked that he was actually in. So, um, anyways, once you. Um, once you've used kinstones with them, it'll make a beanstalk appear. Um, as you see, it's red, so it's something important or you know, something that's going to help you with your quest. And you'll, if you noticed around high roll, there's these little dried up beans. And if you fuse kinstones, it'll make beanstalks out of them that you can climb up into the sky. So um, there's a couple more we will be doing. Um, later on in the game most of them lead to heart pieces some of them lead to little extras but uh... anyways to get to that one you have to jump down and then keep heading down until you get down to this area then you want to head left jump down head all the way left and and then climb up this wall so, um, again, um, we have to climb up this wall in the next chapter, we'll have to climb up it again. So, just kind of get used to this wall. One thing uh, you might want to note is that you actually climb faster going sideways than you do up. So if there's a rock coming, instead of just keep, instead of just, uh, continuing going up, just um, move sideways instead of dodge it. So once you get up to this area, go to the top left and start climbing up the beanstalk. You'll see a nice little view there. And once you get to the top, you'll be above the clouds. Grab all the rupees. I don't know how many rupees it is, but it's a lot. And grab piece of heart number 28. So you now, have, you now should have 14 heart containers if you've been following the walkthrough. Um, if you try to play your Ocarina of Winds here, it won't work. So you have to go all the way back down the beanstalk to play it. I don't think that was very fair. That little tectite was blocking me. And now you can head to Hyrule Town. So um, now we're going to infuse our blade with the element that we just got from the Temple of Droplets. Um. 
First, however, head down to this yellow roof building and fuse kinstones with the guy inside. So, uh, previously you could have done this. Uh, I didn't have the kinstone required to do it before, so I just pick now. And it'll create a little portal to go up um, to a area that you don't really know. Um, and in the next couple of chapters, we're going to be getting to know that area better. Later on in that chapter, or in this chapter, I'll be covering where that little portal goes.